What's up guys and welcome to day 16 of the 100 days run streak challenge. Today we're going to talk about one of my special tips to keep my motivation going even when I need to run early in the morning or when I just feel like I'm lacking motivation pretty hard. This is something that has worked perfectly for me during my first marathon preparation, my first run streak and still working right now. Coming up. No need to create any more suspense. You've seen the topic of this video in the title. I want to talk about audiobooks. I think, like most people, I used to listen to music while I run, which I still do from time to time. I think it could be extremely enjoyable, especially if you can match the music with the kind of mood that you are when you run. Like if you need to run really fast, you'll choose something like electronic and slightly more like faster pace. But at the same time, if you also want to relax and have a gentle run, then you could probably choose something more like acoustic. So listening to music while you run, I think it's tremendous, I think it's super cool. But my point today is to try to convert you to listening to audiobooks while you run. I've discovered this during my first week of marathon training and it has been a great help in terms of motivation to keep on going three or four times a week, quite often at five or six a.m. Because unfortunately, when you have a two hour training and you need to start work at eight, five is a time that you really have to get up. But believe me, training in the winter, January, February, March, waking at 5 a.m. here in the UK, <laughs> the motivation could be quite hard to find. So what's so great about audiobooks? The thing about audiobooks is that it's exactly like books. There are very good ones and very bad ones. So obviously, I won't recommend you any audiobooks. I won't say that, okay, just listen to any audiobooks. It's all better than listening to music, obviously. What I think is better with audiobooks, and it could be also the same thing with really entertaining podcasts, but a good thing with audiobooks is that it lasts more than a run. I think that's the main thing. The music, you start it when you start the run, you turn it off when you're done, that's finished. Nothing is here to push you to listen to more music at 5 a.m. the next day. Great thing with audiobooks is that when I was ending my run, I was super disappointed that I couldn't listen to the end of this audiobook. Like, I wanted to know more. And it's only working if you're choosing something that is really entertaining you and something that you are really interested in. Actually, the first audiobook I ever read is the one you can see here. It's called Jog On from Bella Maki. I'm saying that I read it, but I actually listened to it and then I read it again. <laughs> Since the first day I started to listen to it, at the end of the running session, I had to shower, go to work, couldn't listen to it anymore. I had to wait until the next morning to wake up and go for my run, keep listening to Bella Maki. And I was so disappointed to turn off the audiobook. It was like I really wanted more. If I had the choice, I would have chosen probably to run more this morning just to keep listening to this book. And the same thing happened when I read Born to Run or Eat and Run from Scott Jurek, Let Your Mind Run. I can probably do a whole other video about all the great audiobooks books that you should read when you run. It actually doesn't have to be about running. It could be a lot of different topics as long as you are very passionate about what you're reading and that is pushing you out of bed the next day. Then, believe me, it's a wonderful motivation trick. I'd be curious to know if you are reading or listening to any audiobooks while you run. If you do, please drop a comment below. And if you haven't, please give it a try and let me know what you think again in the comments. There are a lot of different platforms to listen to audiobooks. Some of them are free. Some of them have really an expensive plan. I'm personally using Audible. But I think it's probably one of the most expensive one. I just really like the content I can find there and it's really easy to set it up with your Amazon account. I'll put in the description some link to other platforms also. You can probably start with a free one. That's it for this uh, motivation hack. Now let's move on to the run streak update. So quickly, if you are joining the channel right now, I'm in the middle of a 100 days run streak where I run a 10K every single day. So here are the statistics of today. Today was a pretty cool run, nothing special. I ran my usual 10K. Pace is kind of low compared to what I did yesterday, for instance. But overall, I'm happy to just keep on going. I mean, it's the 16th day straight that I'm running so that's pretty cool let's keep on going also one of the objective of this challenge is to lose some weight so I'm weighting myself every single day and I report this in the video by the way I'm uploading a video every single day here on the platform to keep you updated about the progress of this run streak so if you want to watch this new video go ahead and hit subscribe hit the notification button so you can be part of the journey as well so I wanted to do today a quick summary of the weight loss just to show a little bit uh, where am I I started with 86.6 kilograms and today the weight on the scales 
on day 16 is 82.4 so overall it's going down as you can see it's doing a little bump on the way that's because I'm weighing myself every single day which is not something I really recommend to everyone I think it's just for me it's a good way to get data and follow along how the weight is evolving but it's really not that accurate and weight isn't really everything it's just one indicator but it really doesn't mean much it's just just a way to track how things are going but I don't put too much importance on it basically overall if we look it's about four kilograms lost in two weeks which is pretty good I would say that I'm, I'm on track to my optimal weight which I've set to be at 70 kilograms so that's quite of a journey still but it's only day 16 and there is 84 more days to go all right I hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you did and until next time